I put myself into a position I suppose a lot of players find themselves in, especially if it's their first time playing the game, and that is I wound up at this Ming Xiao fight with not enough resources and not quite well prepared. And by that I mean um, I don't have any points. I haven't put any points into range. When you create the character, there's you get one point in perception, and that's why there's one point there. And I don't have any experience points saved up. And I don't have any blood packs. I don't have um, the odious chalice, so I have no way of healing myself. And these are the guns I have, but I haven't paid any attention and I haven't picked up any of the ammo that's in the chests that are in this map. So this is just the guns I had. If you show up here without any guns at all, um, you're in a bit of trouble. At that point, uh, you might want to go back and if you have a save, start over before you sold your guns as long as it isn't a long way back. Or I uh, guess we can talk about that more. But for now, we'll uh, bring up her spinning thing, her spinning portal, and we'll get started. This, this particular gun I actually have quite a lot of bolt shells for it, so we'll use this. And what I want to do is collect these jade statues because I'll actually be able to, to sell them. And we're ready to go meet Meng. You've become a grave disappointment, and We just picked this up six experience there. But your path will end here. So we'll take advantage of that. You were never more than a pawn, Kindred. Puppet of those who drew yeah, the boundaries I know that. on your horizon. Thank you. It was I who sensed in you the power to write the balance of I like city. Ming quite a lot. It will give me no joy She's, to bring uh, you final death. You will have time to ponder got this these serious eyebrows going on. And disease so in the severe. Hell of borrowing maggots. A thousand years shall you suffer. Okay, thanks. So what we want to do is we want to run, run over here and um, I don't know if this was planned or not, but what happens is if you get between two of these columns and the things off the, are knocked off the top of them and she's basically the distance halfway from the center of the room to the column. Uh, she, for whatever reason, she'll just swing over your head at that point. If you're closer to her or further away than basically this distance, the center of the room distance, uh, she'll start doing damage again. But to get started, we're going to take our two, our six points and convert them into firearms. Because we can just sit here and use guns, or if you're a Tremere or something, you can uh, just blood strike her here as well as using guns or just sit here and blood strike her all day. Anyway, we're going to put this into scope mode and where my cursor is pointing right now, I want to shoot her in the body. And it's going to be waving all over, but we have a big target there, so it's not a big problem to hit it. And this gun, does, even at three skill, this gun does good damage. We're ready for our next gun, which we'll pick the shotgun for that. 
if you don't have any choice but to do um, melee um, or or unarmed, I guess the thing that the thing that you can do. I I have done this fight with uh, three points in melee as a Toreador. But, but the thing about it was I was prepared and I brought plenty of blood because I knew it was going to take a long time. And the only trick to that is that when you're in close to her doing an armed or a melee, either one, her, her only attack that she can do damage with is uh, she'll lunge at you. So when she lunges at you, um, it's just a matter of blocking her at that point. And if you have enough dexterity and you get a good dice roll and you get the block timed right, you'll, you'll stop her attack. So you avoid taking any damage. And after you do it for a while, you can just get really good at not taking any damage from Ming. But then what happens is you uh, have to run after her tentacles to keep them from from growing into a clone. And, and then that's when you move away from her and you get a certain distance, she'll start hitting you with her tentacles. And that's, that's where it becomes tricky to try to balance killing off her, her tentacle babies and not taking too much damage. Plus it just takes a long time. Or if you're really prepared and you have crazy skills already, then you, know, you wouldn't be needing to look at this video. So, and uh, that's also kind of good information for even if you want to use guns and not do it this way, just fight her straight up. It's better to move in close with your guns because you'll a lot of times you'll avoid being hit from the tentacles and she'll just try to lunge at you. But you do want to keep moving quite a bit. And she's moving off to the right here. I don't know if that will eventually get us in trouble or not. And for this gun, I want to put it in the secondary mode, which is tab on my keyboard layout. That's the default. This helps her fire a little faster. And um, even if we were to get in trouble, we could just get up and move to a new location. Now we need her to come a little closer here. So we're going to back up and hopefully... Move forward a little further here. And so because she moved sideways and a little closer, I have backed up a little more to keep that distance. And she's hitting this column here. So what she's hitting. So she may eventually knock it over. I'm not sure. I've never had that happen. Okay. And this gun the problem with this gun is that when we shoot it, it moves up and to the right, and we don't want to risk knocking a tentacle off, so we'll put this in the single mode, which is also up there on the right, it shows that, and that way we can control it, and we don't ever risk hitting the tentacle and dropping it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I also doesn't have the flamethrower which can help out a lot with this fight. 
it, because it stuns her. And there's also some clans that have uh, disciplines that can stun her. I guess it depends on the past, maybe. But uh, especially Malkavians. Like, if you're a Malkavian, you can just stun lock her and shoot her. And she'll never move, and you'll never hit the tentacle, and she's like dead in 20 seconds or less. these columns up and move them so that I could be between two of them but I was playing the uh, original game and I noticed that you can't pick them up in the original game and then I noticed that when you uh, cross between them that she'd swing and knock, knock those devices off the top or those items off the top and that's when I realize that you don't have to move them you just have to get standing between the two two of them crouched and not standing crouched between two of them this is another gun it goes up and to the right and we could just do this for a while but the other thing you can do is point it at the floor start it at the floor and then shoot into the floor and it'll move up and to the right and then pull down and to the left with your mouse to keep it stabilized so it makes this but if you didn't have a lot of bullets I guess you or shells I guess you'd want to avoid doing that and we're gonna take a little merry-go-round right and that's Mink Dad. So we'll go see how our selling strategy goes for our statues. Where to? I believe I'd like to buy some blood. Thank you. Need a fix? Do I ever. But I'll settle for some blood. Seventy-two dollars, not bad. Uh, so that's seventy-nine. It's one hundred and fifty-eight. I can't get two of those. Twenty dollars short. Well, that worked out. I have a dollar to spare. Where to? Nice. So that's Ming done, and we're ready to move on with a little blood for this one. So, um, thanks for watching. Hope that was useful. <laughs>